Hello everybody, Vegan Mark here. I'm not only vegan, I'm not only veganatalist, I'm also a minimalist. So I'm going to talk in this video about what it means to be a minimalist. How shall I start? I live in a very small apartment, a studio apartment. I bought it with my own money. And I use the minimum amount of electricity and water, and hot water. Um, I have a very small kitchen. I have a medium-sized television. I have very few possessions, I guess. Although I've got more over the years. Obviously, I've been living in this apartment for five and a half years. I've accumulated quite a few possessions that way, but I don't buy anything that I don't really need. So I normally go and buy food when I go out. I buy food and uh, enjoy a meal outside or cook at home. But to be honest, I don't have much that I buy. Like in terms of clothing, I have a few shirts, I have shorts and that sort of thing, but I don't have um, really formal stuff. And I just keep things simple. So that's how I live my life. I buy the cheapest stuff, so you'll see me buy soy milks which are $1.15 at the supermarket, you'll see me buy oats which are $1.40 for, for a kilo, cheapest vegetables, cheapest cereals at half price, you know, cheap peaches and carrots and broccoli and that sort of thing. So. One thing I will say about minimalism is you cannot be a minimalist. You cannot be a minimalist unless you are a vegan as well. Because if you're not vegan, you are exploiting animals and causing great damage to the environment with wasting land and water resources. So that's why being a minimalist involves being vegan as well. Very important the two go together. So just thinking about everything I've got in my apartment. I have three computers in my apartment, three laptops, um, but um, one of them's one of them's 10 years old, one of them's five years old, and one of them is new. So I've been using the same computers for a very long time and I don't go out and spend on new stuff very often at all. The camera that I'm using with this video right now I bought for about $420 and it's one of my prized possessions but I don't spend on that sort of thing very often. So to be honest I don't have very many things other than the camera and I'll just show you my apartment, just show you what I've got in my vicinity here. So that's the stuff on my windowsill there, you can see all the stuff I've got there. All this stuff has been, a lot of this stuff has been like bought at cheap prices and one at various places through entertainment or something. Um, that that set of books over there, that set of books, I bought for one dollar from Salvos or something. I got a free Patreon flask. I got that mask for like three dollars. I got a hat for five dollars. I bought the cops hat for one dollar. I bought the Minion, I got the Minion from a prize somewhere and I found some of the sunglasses and the, so the list goes on. All, all that stuff is pretty much free or very cheap. I go to the cheapest barber, I, I have $10 haircuts, so this haircut cost me $10. I couldn't be bothered to spend $30 on a haircut, it's just not worth it. I reuse my water bottles, so I, they're not single-use plastic with me. They're mu they are multiple-use plastic, and I, whenever I have enough bottles that I used up and starting to smell of my saliva, I will go and put them in the in a bag and take them down to cash for containers and get ten cents for every container, so that the, the, the bottles are recycled and um, and possibly reused by other people. Um, I have the smallest fridge now. You can see the fridge over there, I'll show you. Now that fridge, that, that bar fridge, that's smaller than the one I had when I started off in this unit. It's, um, it's a very small bar fridge, so it's economical and I spend much less electricity and 
resources on that fridge now. And the microwave on top is pretty cool, it's sufficient, and um, I use it occasionally to, to warm up my suit. So, I have, in my course of my lifetime, I've had a couple of mobile phones. I've had the first mobile, the, mo the first smartphone I ever had was in 2017, which was a Sony Xperia, which has been busted and damaged. I then bought a Nokia 3, which I still have, and it's still working, but it didn't have very good storage. And my latest one is a Samsung A70, Galaxy A71, which I bought for like $540, which is my only my third ever smartphone in my life. So I'm doing very well. I get this place, my apartment cleaned um, once in a blue moon. It used to be once a month, but I changed that and I'm only getting it cleaned once every few months now. And I don't need to get it clean very often, but I do spot cleaning and I make sure the, the floor is pretty clean whenever I walk around and the, the kitchen is still pretty clean and the bathroom's clean, so I look after it. In regards to other things like my, like pub, um, how I get around, I use public transport and walking. I do not have a car, and I do not intend on getting a car for for a long time. It's not really worth it unless, for some reason, I have to move out and travel. I might get a car for that reason, but I don't need a car at the moment. I take public transport, and I'm very happy with the buses and the trains um, in Brisbane, and that's how I get around. So there you have it folks, that's my minimalist lifestyle, that's how I spend my, my days as a minimalist. I spend very little, but what I do spend on is investments. And I've lost quite a bit of money in investments, so if I had kept my money in the bank safe somewhere, I would probably have more money than I have at the moment. But uh, I've learned a lot through my investments and I guess I've gained a bit of education and knowledge through investing in stocks and crypto and 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 professional punting and that sort of thing so um, that's my life bro hope you liked the video and I will see you next time with more news bye for now